So I've not done a video in a while. I'm I'm not sure if y'all are still watching or not, but I just kind of wanted to do a a visual reference of what I'm going to do. Um, the over under is still on the fence right now. I'd really I'd really love to do that, um, but I don't know how the foam will will work with the J. We're uh, going to do a little bit of mods to the J to see if it'll have more power so it can do a steeper incline. Um, I put these out as a visual reference um, of what my plan is. Uh, once it's, it's, it's actually on, you'll be able to see how I plan to do this and have the bump stop at the end. The, I actually have some bump stops. Well, stop for um, the trains for the the J, but once the time comes, these will be moved on the outskirts, and I could use uh, one of my other trains as a carrier for the the uh, the passenger cars. Sorry, I had a brain fart, <laughs> but uh, probably would use like the Norfolk and Western, you know, to kind of keep with the th the theme. Hook it up, pull it around and then drop it off let the j reverse and and hook up and pull pull away the only thing with these is um i actually have six i've got four showing here but i've got two more we've got uh you know as i said in my in my last film we have to name the the cars and i have to be i have to be on point so i have to find out the actual names of the of the ones that's in my area um chances are as well that i will have to store some on the outsides there so probably like there maybe i guess and then pull out reverse and hook up and pull all of them out um so i might end up using this as a, as the storage area for the uh the j which would be neat have the cars here and have the extra engine like there all by itself hanging out then use this over here for, for uh for the the freight yard which is yeah i know it's kind of small it's I, I wanted more room you know but if i'm going to do a, a diorama of my town i will have to have a theater and a hotel so i can't really cut into that um a lot of things heading on right now. I could you know, probably end up changing the whole entire thing, keep it keep it like this, but add some more yards here in the back. So like you have all kinds of yardage. Um, and then just on the outside edge, just have the J, you know, running around and then the J can park and, you know, over here somewhere and then the freight can run. But I want to do a dual main line. Um... A lot of things to think about right now. I've got, I've got the the rest of the tracks on the way. So the track itself is done. Uh, gonna start to work on the engines. Um, you know, Rocky still has the spirit. We're gonna do an Athern Genesis drivetrain under it. I already have the frame, so basically it's gonna be the the, the uh, Spirit of seventy six shell on an a third genesis is all it's going to be we had to find the uh the blue box frame which is apparently it's used for just about anything <laughs> um so we've got that to work on um going to do the the dcc with probably probably every engine i have so that way if i do have engines here on the sidings i can just shut them off just chime in throttle it down keep the throttle keep the throttle off we'll, you leave it over here on the side so i may turn this into a storage area for trains and then head over here and do some more yardage off the back there so have some more yards here and just not do the town setting yeah a lot of options with this oh man it's a lot of it's a lot to think about but um just you know what well, I'll stay on tr on track here and show y'all what's heading on. So, 
just that's the general idea for now. If I if I do stick with my main idea of having the scenic route on the outside and then the little town on the inside here, if I stick with that, I'll you know let everybody know. And if I change it, I know. The big options for now is just stick with this. I've got the turnouts. They sh should be here any day. Um, order some wheels to put on the ones that are plastic. Yes, I know. Plastic wheels on the rails. It's not being ran. Just here for to kind of show off. But this will be the general idea for now. And still try to have the incline on the back and the over-under on the back. So... That's pretty much it. Um, actually have a day off tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I've worked almost 26 days straight uh, between b b both of my jobs. Yes, I have two jobs. It sucks. Ugh. But I won't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling again. Uh, but here's the idea. The um, We've got pretty much everything set up how I want it. Got a right turnout here, a right turnout there. Have to buy the bump stops, which are sold at my hobby shop. Bump stop in the back. Left turnout here. And that's it. I'll have the track. I'll have everything ready. I have to do the, if I do town, it'll be there. Hopefully race the back as usual. And that's pretty much it. A, a, a lot of thinking to do. If y'all want to drop a line, any any sort of input would be helpful. But one of the, for those that are watching, you know, thanks for watching. If you want more, shoot me a message. I don't mind. I like hearing back. All right. Thank you.